Ho! What is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forster, and welcome to Zero Visibility. Got a cool little retro-styled horror game for you all over from Itch to Isle. Leo, guys, it can't be that big of a deal. I'm sure it's cool, but Elaine. Yeah, no, it's just a lot of fun. Boyd, Elaine, you should be ashamed of yourself. It's everything. Your life up to now was empty, and you didn't even realize it. It's just been a long, sad preamble. Leo, a long preamble to hot springs? <laughs> you know it, baby. Sarah, hot springs doesn't really describe it well. It's more like a really warm river. Like when somebody pees in the water near you, but all the time. You're a poet, Boyd. Aren't things like this better in the summer? Nah, nothing like soaking in hot water surrounded by snow. <sighs> Take your word for it. Looks like we're about 40 minutes out. God, will you quit it with map? It's just Chalk Creek Road all the way up. Hmm, very interesting. Oh, <clears throat> are we driving the car? Oh, we are! Oh, cool! I was not expecting this. Chalk Creek Road. Yo, do we got like a, a boost button? <laughs> Super boost, let's go! <laughs> Can you sprint with the car? No, it doesn't seem like it. I love the, the stylization of this so far. Sarah, is there snow in the forecast? <laughs> nope, I checked this morning. It's the mountains, dude. Anything can happen. Will they still be open? Of course they'll be open. Hot springs don't close for snow. Great. Well, drive slow. I couldn't go much faster even if I wanted to. The trash mobile can barely handle these hills. Okay, sounds good. I like the little group that we've got going on. Each their own little individual person. You know what? I'm the only one on this road. I'm gonna drive on the left side of the road like a maniac. <laughs> also, I would love to go on a, go to a natural hot spring. I'd be always thought, always thought that'd be really fun. <laughs> Sarah, I can't see crap. The snow's really picking up. It doesn't look good. Maybe, maybe we should go back. We're way closer to the hot springs than we are at home. And we can stay there overnight if we need to. Ugh, of course this had to happen today. The one day we were all free. It's fine, Sarah. Just focus on driving. We've got a map. You've all been here before. Okay, but everyone be on the lookout for street signs. Y'all know the Donner Party? <laughs> well, when we inevitably get around to eating each other... Shut up, Boyd! You're not helping. I'm keeping up morale. <laughs> Anyways, I vote we eat Leo first. <laughs> Perfect. Music is wonderful, by the way. Can I, can I drive off the road a little bit? You can. <laughs> Uh-oh. Let's get back on the road. <laughs> Things are going crazy. Hope we brought some chains for our car. What was that? You see that up on the road? That was weird. Hold up, Sarah. There's a street sign. What does it say? I can't read it from here. Me neither. Hold on. I'll pull over. We'll just hop out and take a look. 15 seconds tops. <laughs> I bet we could get a nice marbled steak out of Leo. Shut up, Boyd! To himself... Maybe a chili. <laughs> All right, let's exit the car. Oh, this is, oh, look at this. Oh, this is so cool. All right, let's go to the street sign. Hello. What the hell? What kind of absolute psychopath would do that? Do what? The sign's all scratched out. It's completely Ill Ill illegible. Well, let's think about this logically. We're at a fork. There's a tunnel ahead and a branch off to the side. Leo, there anything like this on the map? There are like five different forks like this in the area. So we're lost. We're not lost. We didn't take any turns since getting on Chalk Creek. If we keep moving, we should reach Johnson Village any minute now. Can we discuss this in the car? I'm freezing. Okay. This is great. You even have like 3D control scheme and everything. This is really cool. <laughs> Got our little, little party, little group here. All right, let's keep on moving. I guess we're having to the right, because uh, our path forward is blocked off. Surely nothing bad is going to happen if we keep moving forward. There it is again. What is that in the road? Creepy. I think this game is going for... Like, more of a... Um, I guess maybe kind of an Eldritch-type horror? Wait, the hell was that? I don't know, the car's chugging. We must be out of gas. How? We had half a tank like 20 minutes ago. Maybe there's a leak? 
Ugh, frick. Oh boy, come on car, you can do this. You can do it! Oh no. Well, what do we do? We'll freeze if we stay in here. We have to continue on foot. Grab anything warm you can find and bundle up. All right, well we've got our jackets. Let's uh, move forward, I guess. Sorry, cosmic horror, I think is the better descriptor, not eldritch. Which, co uh, eldritch horror can be cosmic horror sometimes. Hold up, are those fire trucks? We can ask them for help. Yeah, yeah, let's go up to the fire. Oh, what are you, what are you? <laughs> Little creature. Let's inspect. Looks like a landslide. The doors on the trucks are open. I don't think they're still there. There are footprints in the snow. They look fresh. Okay, well, let's follow the fo footprints here. Head off to the creepy red light in the forest. <laughs> oh, what the heck? This is wild. Let's inspect. What the hell? Pretty sinister. <laughs> Never seen anything like this. Elaine, you're into rocks, right? Uh, not enough to recognize this. Basalt, maybe? But the angles are too perfect. They look man-made. I don't like this. I think we should go back the way we came. I say we keep moving forward into the weird rocks. <laughs> it's like built around it. Like, it's coming out of the snow. It's like pushing it up. Whoa! What the? Sarah? Sarah? Huh? What? Why did you stop? I'm fine, let's keep moving. That was weird. What happened to the train? Jesus, this thing is old. Looks like a model train kit. Like a kid got frustrated and tossed it across the room. That's a bizarre description. <laughs> okay, well, let's uh, head over to the creepy, dangerous bridge off this cliff here. All these spikes coming out of the ground. All right, what does this say? Wait, there's something here. A pile of rocks? There's a note on it. Note, please send help. One of us is injured and the blizzard is only getting worse. There are fresh footprints in the snow, but we've searched for hours and haven't found a soul. We tried to retrace our steps, but we can't find the way out. We've been waiting for a search party, but with this weather, I don't think it's coming. The bridge is damaged, but we think we can fix it. If you find this note, we've gone on ahead. Maybe we'll find a way off this darn mountain. <laughs> I don't like this. We should go back the way we came. Mm, you know what? You're suddenly the voice of reason, but I'm not going to listen to you. <laughs> this doesn't look sturdy at all. It's the only way forward, so it doesn't matter if it's sturdy or not. When did we push Sa put Sarah in charge? Shut up, Boyd. You're not helping. No, but actually, does this seem unnecessarily dangerous to anyone else? We're climbing across an old rickety bridge above a spike pit. I think we should go back the way we came. We can try to make it back down the mountain on foot. The last town on the way back is three hours from here by car. You think we'll make it on foot in this blizzard? You know, it only started blizzarding. <laughs> yes, that's a word I'm using. Uh, until we got to a certain point on this mountain. So I think going backwards is actually the best idea because it's probably not going to be snowy and blizzardy. Some more weird imagery. Sarah! Sarah! What's up with you? Did, did you all see? Can we talk about this when we're not two steps from falling to our deaths? Boyd's right. We can't stop here. Also, we haven't heard from Leo in a minute. He hasn't really spoken at all. This is cool. I love the aesthetic, I love the sound design. It feels very isolating trying to walk around in this mountain pass here. Very creepy with these strange spike pillars everywhere. <gasps> Another note, let's go. Let's check it out. Sarah, another note. I don't know how long I've been here. Weeks? Years? Time doesn't have meaning here. The snow never stops, there's no day or night. Fires never stop burning. Footprints never fade. I'm freezing. I have no food, but I'm still alive. I found a note on the other side of that bridge. Whoever wrote it seems to have vanished without a trace. Maybe they went on ahead. Or maybe they were rescued. There's no way back. All the paths are blocked. I want to keep moving forward. I feel like I need to. 
but it doesn't make any sense. I don't trust the feeling. It's false. I should be waiting for rescue or looking for food, not going further up the mountain. But I need to reach the peak. I need to understand. Please find me. I'm so alone. What are we doing? We should be going back. Boyd is the ever present voice of reason here. Holy crap, is that a house? Oh, there's Leo. More like a shack. Maybe they have a phone? I'd be surprised if they have a toilet. Shut up, Boyd! Thank God, finally some luck. I love how much Elaine hates Boyd. <laughs> whoa! whoa! Ah! <laughs> what the heck? What just? Elaine! Oh, oh, oh there she's gone! <laughs> F, F, F! What? Wait, where is she? Did you not see it? Something? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Everyone slow down, what happened? Hyperventilating? <laughs> what the hell's going on? I think, I think I saw something take Elaine. Something, like what, a bear? I, I, I don't know. Where did they go? Well, we need to help her. Where did they go? Down, down, uh, into the snow. The snow's not that deep. How can something go down into the snow? I don't effing know. I'm just telling you what I saw. Her footsteps just stop. Come on, let's check the house. If there's someone there, maybe they can help. This kid's got really intense really quickly. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone there? We need a phone, our friend. Leave. I don't have a phone. Silhouette. Please, we need help. I have a gun. Go. Just go and no one gets hurt. Thank God he has a gun. Please, our friend was taken by something. We need... Opens window, the man. I said leave. Oh, oh Lord. You're, you're just a bunch of kids. Please, sir, something took our friend. We need your help. You have a gun, you could... Gun's empty. Use the last bullet years ago. Listen, please listen to me. I know this is hard to hear, but please don't go looking for your friend. Are you effing nuts? Look, just listen. That thing that took your friend will only attack if you try to reach the peak. If you don't try to move forward, it'll leave you alone. I'm the proof. Please, I've seen dozens of groups like yours and they all end up... What the F are you talking about? Are we gonna leave Elaine out there? Not even try to find her? No. No, you're right. We need to keep moving. Please don't do this. You're just kids. I can't let kids... I don't give a crap what you think. I'm not leaving a friend to die because some old man in a shack said so. If we want to catch up to them, we need to leave now. You're right, let's go. I think this man has a really good point. I don't know. Oh. So that is the path forward. Let's see what's going on with this graveyard back here. Uh, I like how they have this little secret, not secret, but special area that you can check out. Dead end. Let's go back the other way. The graves, they look... I don't care. The lane's still out there. We need to get moving. Hmm. What do the graves look like? They look fresh or what? What were you about to say, Leo? Alright, well, let's go get... Elaine. <laughs> Elaine, we're coming for you! <laughs> I really did not expect that little creature to come... <laughs> scrambling out of nowhere with that music. <laughs> Got me good. <gasps> Another note. Let's check this out. We've decided to take the only open route. It leads further up the mountain. We'll keep moving until we find a path to take us back down. At least that's my plan. The others are behaving strangely. Almost like they've given up on rescue or even finding our own way home. All they talk about is reaching the top of the mountain. Maybe there's something in the air. A hallucinogen or something. Maybe it's just the hunger and the cold. It might be getting to me too. I've been seeing a silhouette just out of sight in the fog. I haven't gotten a good look at it yet. Anytime I catch a glimpse, it disappears. First I thought it was a mountain lion, but now I'm not convinced. There's intelligence there, like we're being investigated. Like it's waiting to see what we do. The further we move up the mountain, the closer it gets. Maybe it's just a hallucination. But I'm starting to think moving forward isn't such a good idea. I don't trust the others anymore. But I can't bring myself to split up with that thing out there in the fog. Please find us. I don't want to die up here. That's a lot of information on a little note. <laughs> I see a couple lines of scribble. There's the train off in the distance. That's where we just were. Can you fall down? 
Oh, I think you... No, you cannot. Alright, let's see if we see this creature anymore. Sure we will. Plenty of times. I don't trust this game anymore. <laughs> Not to scare me! <laughs> no! Leo! Where did it go? Where the F did it go? Boyd! F! <laughs> Boyd! We need to keep moving! But it's gotten into you! It's got Elaine and now Leo! They could be dead for all we know, and you think I don't care? You think I'm pushing forward because I want to? What do we stand to gain by staying here, hmm? I... We're sitting ducks. We stand a better chance if we keep moving. We can go back. We can keep moving forward. I really don't care. But I'm not going to wait here for it to take us too. Good idea. Good idea. Just keep going. <laughs> we got to get out of here. <laughs> Look. Looks like some sort of camp. This is... This is so effed. All right. We got this. We got this. Oh, is that a blood trail? They were more prepared than us. They were more prepared than us. Okay, let's follow this blood trail, I'm assuming? Up to their little camp? Oh boy. Someone got wrecked over here. Holy crap. Looks like they were pulled out of their tents. Another note. I can't believe we found it. It's more incredible than I could have imagined. Our measurements were correct. The gravitational fluctuations are much stronger than our initial calculations. Time is warped here beyond any currently understood scientific explanation. Whatever this place is seems to have been floating through space and time since long before the birth of our sun. What are the chances of it crossing Earth? Trillions to one? So this place... there's a logic to it? Boyd, I think this was a research crew. I... I, I don't want to know. Let's just... let's just keep moving. Alright, Boyd. <laughs> Boyd's next! We all know it! <laughs> Poor Boyd! He's always been the voice of reason, and he's just gonna get snatched like the others. Another note? Emma. I don't feel cold anymore. I don't feel much of anything, really. The bridge still isn't done. I don't know how long I've been here. Ben and Drew are gone. Whatever those things are, took them. I made graves for them. It felt like the right thing to do. I wonder if someone will make a grave for me, too. Adam. I wonder if that's the man that we saw. Oh my gosh. What the heck? All these people just fall? <gasps> oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh my god, are those bodies? Watch your step, Boyd. It's a long way down. Boyd? Boyd, are you okay? <laughs> Nothing. Speechless. Oh, Boyd's gonna get snatched up. I just know it. Oh, we got a ladder on the left. Oh, what the? That's pretty crazy looking. But first, let's check out this. Oh, this is the great. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of graves. Rest in peace, Adam. Everyone deserves a proper burial. Oh, it was not the man at the shack. So Adam finally got his burial. Interesting. So can we go down here? No, it doesn't look like it. That'd be nice, though. So did someone build that ladder so they could go down and pick up all their friends? Oh my gosh, there's more graves over here, too. What is going on? What is this? Like a weird temple type of thing. Sarah, I... I don't think we're supposed to be here. What are you talking about? This place. Whoever built it didn't want people to come here. It's so threatening, it feels like a warning. I want to go back. I want to go home. Boyd, we can't go back. I know. I know. Huh. Got our last little note here. I assume our last. My companions refused to believe. That's why they were taken. They lacked faith. God brought us here. We were chosen. And they didn't live up to expectations. I've never been the religious type, but this place is all the proof I need. 
I don't know what kind of god lies at the end of this path, but I can't deny its power. I've seen it with my own two eyes, and I'm choosing to believe. Hmm. Strange. What is that picture? What? Oh, no, no! Boy, no! <laughs> Crap! Oh, boy, no! What is this? Oh, this is, this is wild looking. Oh, that's a person at the very top. And down below, I think those are the creatures? And it's coming out of a, like a void. And the person on the left is radiating energy or power and it's burning creatures or something. And then those are the creatures and they're all chained up. They're enslaved to the person. What is going on? Wonder is there a backside to no. And that's the mountain. Been chained away, locked up in the mountain. There's all the spikes. These are the creatures. What is this noise? Are on like a black sphere. What is going on? Sarah? <laughs> Sarah, I don't think this is the best decision to go this way. What about Boyd? What about Leo? What about Elaine? You can't just leave them. What in the world? This is crazy. All right. The architecture is incredible. I've never seen anything like it. No human built this. Some sort of being up ahead. The others call it God, but I don't think that's the right word. It's incredible. Unknowable. And the creature hunting us doesn't want us to reach it. I don't know how, but I can feel it. I'm almost there. We live our we live our lives searching for something incredible, something unique. Something worth dying for. That's what's at the end of this path. Something worth dying for. If I keep pushing forward, I'll be the first to see it. I know it's worth it. It has to be worth it. Christine Rowe, 1936. Wow. So my theory at this point is this place is not supposed to be discoverable. It's supposed to be a separate plane of reality. And any human that stumbles upon this area is influenced by the the, the god of this, this little region. But the creatures are protecting it because the, the being is locked up here, presumably to help others. Like, it's probably a not very good uh, entity, but the creatures are here to suppress it, I'm assuming. What is going on here? Nice, nice little fire. Get nice and cozy and warm. Oh boy. Check the note. I killed one of them. One of those monsters following us. Oh! They move faster than anything I've ever seen, but they bleed red just like us. There should only be one left now. After I finish the bridge, I'll hunt it down and kill it too. Anything that stands between us and God needs to be extinguished. Interesting. Oh. Hammer. Plank, plank, plank. Oh, we're gonna finish the bridge? Yeah, we're under the influence already. Build. Build, build. Oh, hello. No, those are my friends. No. I knew that was going to happen. Oh! Well then. Uh, my friends! Sarah, what are you doing? It's probably going to actually be like an illusion in their head. 
and she just killed somebody. Oh boy. What are we getting into? Oh, what? Well, it's exactly what was in the pictures before. Hi. How are you, how are you doing? I finally made it. It's, it's incredible. They were right, it was worth it. It was all worth it. Unknown. <laughs> she just got obliterated. Yeah, so the, the monsters were protecting the thing. <laughs> so it wouldn't be released into the world. Is everyone going to die? Well then, archive. What is the archive? Oh, what? Oh, this. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is really cool. Can I zoom in? Oh, I can. Oh, cool. Reference copy. Do not circulate. Government agencies first begin tracking gravitational anomaly XD four seven three in 1948, but incident reports uh, attributable to the anomaly date back to July fourteenth, seventeen fifty nine. Uh, first intersection at 1751, XD 473, taking into account energy decay. Current estimates for the age of XD 473 range between 1.3 and 1.7 billion years. Launch likely if, uh, effectuated between 200 300 kpc from Earth, well outside the Milky Way. This is unevaluated information. So 2009, 72, 36, 92. Um, oh gosh. Assistant to the director. Uh, it's hard to read. Very hard to read. Apparently, major something is... Oh, it, oh, I wish I could read that. It is so incredibly difficult to read. I think that's intentional. Uh, apparently, major something is something in his effort to find out if a CIA agent told something of unidentified flying objects, but not public information about their life form? Oh, I'm not going to be able to read that. Maybe somebody can read this. I, I know there's some legible words in there, but it's very difficult. Let's go up to the top here. So this is the mountain range. Um, so I assume the dotted is the sphere of influence where you can turn back. The singular line is where you are stuck in this entity's world. Uh, obviously, this is the path in order to get there. And then once you're inside, these are the different checkpoints that we've seen throughout. And then the final one is at the center. Initial expedition entered anomaly 918-2013. Recovery team entered anomaly 324-2024. One, so that's right there, lost radio contact with expedition team since uh, time estimated 11.34 a.m. Last comprehensible transmission. Figures in the fog. Yeah, so that's where it like really, really starts. Number two, which is way further in there. Expedition path becomes illogical. Markers frequently have no visible spatial relation to previous markers. And then number three, much closer, remains a final expedition camp. Two remaining expedition members appear to have been killed and pulled from their tents. So that's what we saw. And then number four is the epicenter. No living member of the expedition team is believed to have reached the peak, which is where we finally went. Gravitational fluctuations per kilometer from epicenter. And here's a little graph for people if they want to check it out. Next page. Yeah, so this... So this is, I think, this person just or the entity consumes the life of any living thing. This is what happens if it has free reign and control. It sucks up everything and essentially kills it. This is what these creatures uh, were locked in and locked up for the entity. And then uh, either by doing this or something else, they managed on their planet. So again, way out of the Milky Way, 
managed to lock up the entity on the top of a mountain with all these pillar sphere, sphere, spears, spears, spears. Um, I don't know. That's not the right word either. <laughs> and launched it into space, hopefully so that it would never become unchained and free to roam. And then obviously what happened was there was an intersection at some point of the entity going through space and it intersected with Earth, leading to a materialization on our planet with people as far back as the 1700s, I think it said. Yeah, 1759, 1800s. Um have been experiencing this entity, but nobody's ever been able to reach the peak until us. And so this, these are the kind of first moments, the pictures that were taken. This is the third camp. I don't know why we were impaled though. Maybe it's to help like stop and keep the thing chained up. We've got this here, the peak, that's what's been flying through space as according to this picture here. Yeah, look at that. That's so cool. That is so cool. But yeah, that was zero visibility. That that was fantastic. I, I love the direction that they gave. Such a unique story to go along with it and very engaging as you're kind of going throughout. Feeling of isolation on this mountain. I, legitimately, I, I wasn't sure if this game was going to like be like, ah, scary at all. Uh, but when those little creatures come out and start nabbing each of our characters one by one. It freaked me out every time. Like, it's not a terrifying game, but, like, just the unsuspe unexpected nature of that and just, like, being like oh, my gosh. It, and the, the, the music, the sound direction of this game was, was just perfect. Uh, fantastic, fantastic little free indie horror game. Um, I'm always surprised that games like this are, are just out there as just projects that somebody's working on that... It's just a passion that they wanted to do, but very, very well done to this developer. Absolutely loved it. And so much like thought provoking information and especially with this archive to be able to kind of look through and um, kind of make your own conclusions as to what this entity is and like what is actually going on in the, the entity zone of this mountain. Very, very cool. I hope you all enjoyed this one though. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Love to hear any thoughts and feelings from you all. And if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification. Now we know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. And if you'd like to see any more content from me, you're welcome to find me on any of my other socials like my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, got a Discord channel, and a bunch of other cool things always listed in the description down below. But of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Later.